have a gander outside. I hope this footage doesn't need to be used because my phone will become good. And I can use the better footage from the phone. I was just patting my phone on the back for uh, making it this long being absolutely destroyed. But I think it's still working internally, but I can no longer see any part of the screen. For a while I had like two thirds, three quarters, and now I have like two percent. And it's like and it had my map, my locations, where I'm going. I know I'm staying somewhere around this area, Factory Butte Cathedral Canyon, maybe, area, like it's around here somewhere, but without a phone I don't really want to just go chaotically um, without knowing where I'm actually gonna be. You know, I wanna stay close to the road, that's what I'm trying to say. Still so early in the day, but I am so exhausted. I've been driving around this area a bunch just to like find this spot that I've been looking for. I think I'm at it now. It was on the other side of the street. Um. I'm so, so windy still. Absolutely so windy. It makes me have pause to be on, to be on the cliff's side. And maybe I should move further away from the cliff. My plan for tomorrow is to go into town and try to get some connection. Because this iPad obviously can't do anything if the phone doesn't have data on it. And then I'm going to try to buy a, a cheap phone off Facebook Marketplace or something. I'm exhausted. <sighs> I'm sure you can tell. Also, I got burnt, so that's probably contributing to the fact that I'm so tired. I'm entirely too anxious to nap, but I'm tired. Things I need to do. I need to get Wi-Fi, charge, charge this iPad. I have to get a new phone. That's basically the gist. Um, and then I need to find an AT&T to, um, change my sim over to the new phone. I don't know why I'm anxious. I feel like I'm in a fine spot to spend the night. My brain is just... I don't know. I knew this would happen. I knew there would be times when I'm just like, fuck. I want to be home. I want to just be in my own bed. Not stressed. I think the thing that would make me less anxious is if I if I got started on the process of getting a new phone and figuring out how to change the eSIM and stuff like that. I might feel better. But then, equally, I won't be in a good spot to sleep, most likely, if I am in a spot to do those things. I'm all dusty. It's probably contributing. Anyways, I've taken a breather. 
yeah, I'm gonna get back to civilization and try to figure out some of this stuff. Although, we'll see. I think what contributes is maybe I'm just like not a person that loves to be super, super rural. Like maybe I'm a, like I love places that are close enough to town, but also far out. I don't know. I've been in Denny's all morning and I've been uh, trying to lock down a new phone that I can go pick up on Facebook Marketplace. Um, so it looks like I'm going to go now and get one. I just need to lock everything down before I start driving because I don't have data. Um, because my phone's obviously kind of messed up. <laughs> I've got everything ready on this iPad and also like with my laptop so I can probably survive if I need to go to Vegas to get a phone. Um, hopefully I can get this sorted, um, go to the AT&T store and sort out transfer transferring the eSIM over and then um, I can hopefully get down to the area like surrounding um, Zion and uh, Black Canyon, yeah. And there's some dispersed camping there that I'll, that I'll stay at. I probably won't be able to do a hike today because it's, um, it's late also, I'm tired. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's the plan. Guys, there's a random, I don't know if you can see it, That made it so much worse. There's a random ass, huge cathedral. Maybe I can put a vintage effect on this to make uh, the worst quality of this iPad really become a thing. This iPad's camera gets smudged so easily that some of this footage might be smudged. I just need to get some driving footage. Because otherwise, I'll just be popping from one place to the other. Oh, it's been a day. Um, after I got my phone, I drove down to River something. The name that started with an R. I can add it in the video somewhere here. Um, I went to their AT&T store. And the person couldn't put a SIM card in this. It wasn't working. It got denied. So they were like, go to the Walmart. Um, they have the um, they have the little kiosk there in the mobile section. They have they sell AT and T. They can help you. Maybe their SIM cards will work. Uh, the guy was like, no, we literally can't give SIM cards unless um, we're selling a phone. So I was like, okay, whatever. Um, so I went to Cedar City, which I'm outside of right now. Um, and their person, same thing. Can't, can't do it. No. Uh, come tomorrow morning, we'll have the, uh, the manager will be there. Maybe they can do something. So hopefully tomorrow morning will work. I mean, like, <sighs> hopefully the manager will be able to do something. Because I don't want to have bought a phone that I can't put my SIM card in. Like, that's... Ugh. So I came here because we have Wi-Fi. Um, this is a, another loves. I've, I've this is my third third loves that I've stayed at. Um, but I've always it always felt comfortable. It all, like there's always other cars and vans with people sleeping in them. So um, the Walmart did too, but the Wi-Fi wasn't as good, and it needed um, you needed a code sent to your phone to. Um, to log into the Wi-Fi and um, obviously I can't do that right now. 
Like my phone kept getting the notification. It's so frustrating. The phone kept getting the notification that it got the message when I when I was sent. Um, but obviously I couldn't get it because the screen's Anyways, I'm going to be watching the Canucks game here. Um, I hope that I can actually get to the National Park tomorrow. It is very nice to have a screen that is, you know, fully a screen. Um, with no black weird bits.